everybody, thank you so much for coming on this video. My name is Mr4K. I've recently watched Chucky Season 2 Episode 5. And with this episode, we finally, finally are done with the shenanigans. And we are actually moving the plot somewhere that I'm really enjoying with this episode. And I think this episode is kind of my favorite episode of the season because it actually tells us a lot. And it's not cheesy and we're finally focusing on on the kids again and kind of puts us in a place where i'm i'm really happy with what they did with this episode and i really really enjoyed so let me start off with the positives before i get into some of the negatives with this episode first off that chucky versus the buff chucky versus good chucky uh, sequence was a very fun sequence to see i really like seeing other chucky's just together in general especially like the first scene from the beginning of the season just ball chucky and those other chucky's talking is just some of the funniest things to me so i always love just many chuckies interacting with each other or doing anything which is what they do with this sequence that i really like they make a full out fight sequence between good chucky and buff chucky so i'm like yo why is this good this is actually really 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 good so i'm i'm really I really enjoyed that beginning sequence, it, it at least wasn't as goofy as the last episode with some of the things they did, but with, with that, that fight sequence, it's it's always just fun seeing other Chuckies interacting with each other or just fighting, you know? I, I wouldn't mind more fights, hell I hope the finale has a lot of fights in it and I really love that, I'd love to see just Chuckies hitting each other, boxing, tackling each other, just doing it, whatever, that would genuinely be funny and I'd, I'd honestly laugh myself off. So I really enjoyed the beginning of the episode and I really hope that they do more stuff like that because it's always great to just see Chuckies together. But also one thing that I love that this episode did is really set up this team versus team situation. What I mean by that is we have Nadine and Jake who really think that good Chucky is good. But then we have Lexi and Devin who don't think that. They think good Chucky is really bad and is gonna do something. Because not only did he kill practically their entire families except for Lexi, but they practically ruined their lives so i i i'm not sure on who to pick here i think the better question is is there even a right side because with both teams they're both doing a dumb decision first off devin and lexi going after chucky on their own is very dumb and then you have nadine and jake both trusting chucky that's also dumb I, I, I like seeing these kind of conflicts, I really do, but both teams are doing a dumb decision here by trusting themselves, trusting their guts, because Devin and Lexi by the end of this episode do go looking for Chucky, and what they find I will talk about by the end of this review, but really seeing these two teams separate in this episode, I was like... This is interesting. I don't know about this one, but this is kind of interesting. So, I, I again, the better question would be is who exactly is right. I'm not going to necessarily pick a, a, a right side. I will say that I am against good Chucky. I, I, I'm, I'm suspicious of him, but I'm not necessarily like, oh, that means I'm on Devin's team. Like, no, I, I'm... I'm trying to think straight here, and I'm saying that no one is right here, and that good Chucky will probably stay good, or not, I, I'm not 100% sure, my opinions will change on it, like, every few seconds, but then we also finally see the pickup of the last episode, where we finally get to see Kyle, and she didn't leave with no injuries with that explosion, she unfortunately lost an ear, which... By the way, the, the whole glasses thing, taking it off and the ear comes off, that that is funny. I like that. That is that is some comedy right there. But like I was saying, I'm happy that Kyle's here. I'm happy she's alive. She's doing well. They have Nika slash 
Prime Chucky, which I'm happy they confirmed that there is there is a main Chucky. There is a full-on legitimate Chucky, the very first, which is in Nika. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, wait a minute, but the one that went into Nika is not the main one because the main one's the head from Cult. But you guys gotta remember that guy died already in the explosion. So uh, the Prime Chucky is technically the one in Nika. So a lot of people will deny it because head Chucky from Cult is the main, but he got blown up. So uh, he's off the table. So we got Prime Chucky in Nika. Which is something I really like that they confirm, and I'm really happy about that. But one thing that I absolutely love about this episode is that we finally got to see the Tiffany doll again, but Jennifer Tilly saw in it. So Jennifer has been in that doll the whole time, ever since the end of Seed of Chucky, and she's been doing all of her bill, all of Tiffany's bills, all of her fan mail, everything. So when they find, when Meg and Glenn find the Tiffany doll, they, they get very, very confused, and and Tiffany ends up killing her, uh, Jennifer's sister right in front of her, Meg, which is something I'm, I, I, I wouldn't, I don't really feel bad for Jennifer Tilly, because, like, we didn't see her, like, much, you know, like, the, the main Jennifer Tilly in the actual, like, show, so, I don't feel for her, but I definitely do feel bad she's been in that doll for, like, a lot, a lot of years. Like, 2004 to 2022. 18 years. God damn. Yeah, um... God have mercy on you. <laughs> because when they showed me the Tiffany... When they showed us the Tiffany doll in the beginning of episode 1, that... Uh, that kind of confused me now because I'm I'm at the point now that I feel like the Chucky TV show doesn't understand its world building. So this is where my negatives are gonna start. The show kind of doesn't remember what it's set up, and the Tiffany doll is one of those examples. So if if the Tiffany doll in the first one died. How is Jennifer here? Because we've only seen her with one doll. That's first off. I don't think she's ever mentioned that Tiffany's ever split her soul. And Jennifer also mentions that she's been the only one here. She's been doing all of these for so long. So I'm 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 kind of confused on how exactly this all happened. So I really hope they dig deep more into that kind of stuff. But then, find the ending of the episode. The ending of the episode is something that's gonna conflict me. And I really need to watch episode 6, like, right now. Because I wanna understand it. What, like, really is happening. So, we see Dr. Mixer, the one that gave Lexi's sister the doll in the beginning of the season. The very first Bride of Chucky doll we saw. And then we also find out that she's been working with Charles Lee Ray, and she's apparently been his uh, therapist in the Catholic school since he was eight years old, which is where the episode ends. And then we also see Andy. So I'm really confused by this because this gives us another origin then. Like, did the therapist turn him bad or was he born bad? So this is kind of where I come back to my point to the Chucky TV series is kind of forgetting its world building and they kind of need to recheck some things but I want to know how you guys feel about episode 5 of Chucky season 2 do you like it do you hate it somewhere around the middle anything and everything down in the comments below as always I'm Mr. 4k and take care